Hola estudiantes, hoy vamos a aprender sobre DOP, Direct Object Pronouns, or DOPs as they are often called. Um, this might be something that you're not totally familiar with in English, but I think once you hear what they are, they'll sound really familiar. So, direct object pronouns. A direct object pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. Specifically, it takes the place of the object of the sentence. So there's the subject and the object in a sentence, and the object is the one receiving the action. Two DOPs you know in English are it and them. So in the sentence, I bought the book, the book is the object. I replace it with it, I bought it, and it is the DOP. Uh, he eats potatoes, in that sentence, potatoes is the object, and he eats them means the same thing, but them replaces potatoes, and it's the direct object pronoun in the sentence. So, really easy concept, very confusing name, but I think you can figure it out that it means the book and them means potatoes, right? So in Spanish, there are four direct object pronouns. Lo, la, los, and las. Lo and la mean it. They're singular. Lo replaces masculine nouns, and la replaces feminine ones. Los and las mean them. It's the plural form. Los replaces masculine nouns, while las replaces feminine ones. You're already familiar with masculine and feminine, singular and plural, so this should be pretty easy to figure out which one would go with lo, la, los, and las. Me, te, and nos can also be used as direct object pronouns if the action is happening directly to me, you, or to us. So, for example, if you hit me, me pegas, the me means the action's happening to me, and me is the direct object pronoun. We're not going to focus on these today, though. So now for some examples. Which DOP should we use to replace el codo? The correct answer is lo. Lo would replace el codo. Which direct object pronoun would we use to replace las rodillas? It would be las. You can kind of match up the direct object pronoun with the article um, most of the time. So las rodillas goes with las, pretty easy. Which DOP should we use to replace los dedos? The answer is los. Los would replace los dedos. Which DOP would we use to replace la nariz? La nariz is singular and feminine, so we would use the DOP la. Finally, which DOP would we use to replace un paciente? This one was a little harder because it doesn't have el or la in front, but rather un, but it's still masculine and singular, so it would be replaced with lo. Now, where do they go? This is the other funny thing about Spanish DOPs. They usually go before the verb. So in the sentence, I ate it, you would say yo la comí. The la, meaning it, goes before the verb. In the sentence, we don't want it, nosotros no lo queremos, the lo goes directly before the verb, between no and the verb, but it means we don't want it. In English, we put them at the end of the sentence. In the sentence, you bought them, tú las compraste, the las goes before the verb. And finally, in the sentence, él los leyó, he read them, 
the direct object pronoun goes before the verb. Okay, so it, the order is a little bit different in Spanish than it is in English, but you guys are used to the order being different a lot of the time. However, DOPs can also be attached to the end of an infinitive verb or an imperative verb. These are less common, but you've probably seen some of them before. Me gusta escucharla. I like to listen to it. Lavalas. Wash them. Dámelo. Give it to me. Dámelo, in particular, is probably pretty uh, familiar to you. And ella quería llevarlos. She wanted to wear them. So they can be attached to an infinitive, like escuchar or llevar, or attached to an imperative, like lava or da. Okay, so that's when they can go after a verb. Normally they go before. Why don't you replace the object in this sentence with a DOP? The sentence is, Lainey quiso la pulsera, and la pulsera is the object of the sentence. In this sentence, we would change la pulsera to la, and we would move the DOP in front of the verb. Lainey la quiso. Lainey wanted it, the bracelet. Here's another example. Replace the object in this sentence with a DOP. La llorona agarró el brazo de Lainey. El brazo is replaced with lo, the DOP, which goes in front of the verb agarró. La llorona lo agarró. The weeping woman grabbed it. Another example. Desi pegó una pelota de fútbol. Replace that with a DOP. So, Desi la pegó. Desi hit it. Even though football is masculine, the object is una pelota. So we replace una pelota de fútbol with la, and we move la in front of the verb. Desi la pegó. Finally, try this one. Replace the object with a DOP. In this sentence, los tobillos is replaced with los, and we move los in front of the verb. Nosotros los lastimamos. I hope that that explanation of direct object pronouns made sense. Uh, you can use it to complete the activity in this week's packet. Muchas gracias y hasta luego.